Hello everyone, the last cleaning and shaping technique that is the hybrid technique. Now we have already seen about the crown down and the step back technique. Now in crown down it was the preparation from coronal to the apical portion and in step back we have seen that it was from the apical to the coronal. Now hybrid as the name says it is somewhat a mixture of something. So hybrid it involves the combination of both that is crown down and step back technique. So in this you will see first you prepare the coronal portion. Then you prepare the apical portion and then the last one you prepare is the middle portion. So this is the hybrid technique. So we are going to start with the technique first. And in this now you are using both the instrument that is the rotary and the hand instruments to do this hybrid technique. So the first step is you are going to check the patency of the canal as we do for the crown down. Now over here first step is doing the crown down preparation. So first we are going to see about the crown down and then we are going to move towards the step back technique. Over here, first is the you're going to check the patency of the canal with a smaller number file that is a 10 number file. After that, you're going to place 15, 20, and 25 number K file in the sequential order and it is placed in the passive pressureless manner. You're not applying any force in this. So, you're going to place this files that is 15, 20, and 25 till the point of the canal binding. So, this is the next step. So, first you have done the patency of it, then you have like inserted or placed the file which are in the sequence 15, 20 and 25. After that you start with the coronal pre-enlargement with the GG drills in the sequence of number 3. Then you go for number 2 and then you go for number 1. So over here you start with the larger number, then you go for a smaller number and then the smallest number. Now it should not be beyond 3 to 4 mm into the canal orifice. Now over here you need to do the coronal pre-enlargement. So you have to see that it, it is not going beyond 3 to 4 mm the canal orifice. So this is the next thing that you do the coronal pre-enlargement. After that, you're going to establish the working length with the help of a 15 number K file. So after that, you're going to place a size 40 or a smaller K file to a point of canal binding. So it should be to a length 1 mm beyond the depth of the insertion of the GG drill number one. So over here, this was the smallest one. So over here, now what you do is you are going to place a size 40 number K file till a point 1 mm below this one number gg drill so over here this is the placement of the 40 number k file now this is the step that is known as a crown down technique so you first you have done the coronal pre-enlargement over here so hence it is known as a crown down technique that you're going from the coronal portion to the apical portion so now you have done the preparation of the coronal third now you move on towards the apical third so now we have seen that we do the preparation first in the hybrid in the coronal third then we do for the apical third. So now we have done the coronal preparation now moving towards the apical preparation that is the next step of your hybrid technique. So over here the apical portion it is prepared using the step back technique. So in this the canal preparation it is done with sequential use of progressively larger instrument which is placed successively short of the working length. Now for example. 25 number file it goes till your working length so for example the working length of the root it is 25.5 mm and now a 25 number file is going till this so what do you do in a step back technique now we have already seen about that but still i'm telling like in short what it is so what you do is then you move towards a 30 number file so that means the canal preparation is done with the sequential use of progressively large instrument so after 30 you go for 35 so after that you go for 40 45 so like this you increase the number of the file. So what you do is now your 25 number file it stops at this 25.5 mm. Then the 30 number file it should stop at 24.5 mm. Then 35 it should stop at 23.5 mm. Then 40 it should stop at 22.5 mm. So that means you are placing it successively short of the working length. Like as you are increasing the number of the file you are decreasing the working length. So this is the step back technique that you do. So it is performed until the middle third. So first you have done the preparation with the help of the crown down technique of the coronal third. Then you do the preparation of the apical third with the help of a step back technique. And you continue this step back technique till the middle third. So lastly you do the preparation of the middle third. So this is how you do the preparation in the hybrid technique. So it is performed until the middle third. So you have to recapitulate and irrigate always whenever you are changing the file. After that what finally you do is you are going to blend the step back and the step down technique properly with the help of a file. So this is the last thing that you do because now you have done the preparation first of the coronal with the help of other technique and then you do the preparation 
of the apical and the middle third with the other technique. So you have to see that they are blended together properly. So this is the hybrid technique. Now what are the advantages? So in this, it optimizes the advantages of the crown down and the step back. Now we are performing both the techniques in this. So what it does is the hybrid technique, it has the advantages of both the techniques. That is, there are less chances of ledge formation. Then it maintains the integrity of the dentine. Then the procedure is basically easier as you do the coronal pre-enlargement prior. Then all the other advantages that we see in the step down and the step back technique. And the next advantage is it has the ability to shape the canal with the hand instrumentation using the stainless steel instrument like you can shape the canal properly with the help of a stainless steel instruments. Now the disadvantage of this hybrid technique is the middle third preparation has to be carefully done to prepare a tapered continuous canal. Now in this we are doing the middle third preparation at the last. So you have to see that whenever you are doing this middle third preparation it has to be done very carefully to create that continuous tapered canal which we want in every technique that we are doing for the shaping and cleaning. So these all are the three techniques of cleaning and shaping that were the crown down step back and the last one is this hybrid technique so this was all about the hybrid technique i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much